Peace, what's good family? I'm on my seventh day of fasting out of 30 days. I got 23 days to go. Today is Saturday and I'm feeling great. My energy is up, the weather is nice, sun is out. What more could I ask for? Up to this point, I've been drinking mostly water with key lime. I have been using herbs a little bit here and there, but herbs I don't use as often because they're not meant to be used as pharmaceuticals. Pharmaceuticals, we rely on those as a crutch, you know, to, you know, make us feel better temporarily. But herbs are meant more for permanent healing. So you don't need to rely on them as often as long as you are, you know, abiding by things that positively fuel your body. But anyways, today's not about that. There was a comment that asked, why do you fast so much if you eat clean? And this isn't the first time that I've been asked this. Let me clear this out. I don't take this question as any shade. And so please don't take my answer as any shade. I'm just answering the question. So before we dive into my why of why I do fast, despite me eating alkaline, we have to come to terms with what is clean eating? Like what is clean? Because it's gonna be different for everybody when you ask somebody that's plant-based, somebody that's vegan, somebody that is alkaline vegan, somebody that's raw alkaline vegan. You see, our definition of what is clean becomes vastly different. When I first started following Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide back in 2015, to me, that was clean eating. You just follow the guide and that is it. You have your nuts, seeds, grains, your approved oils, your approved sugars, the date sugar, the agave syrup. But now, about seven years later, my vision on what clean eating is, is far different. If I'm not eating foods that are not in season, that's not clean eating. If I'm pairing the wrong foods together, for instance, nuts, fruits, vegetables, seeds, grains, they all don't have the same amount of time to break down and digest. Fruits nine times out of 10 are gonna digest far quicker than anything else. And oftentimes, people pair things that may take longer to digest with things that take lesser time to digest, which can cause bloating, constipation. Whether that's small or not, to me, that's not clean eating. The agave, the date syrups, while they are healthier alternatives than, you know, your typical sugar, cane sugar, stevia, to me, they're still not as beneficial as just eating fruit. You know, getting your sugar from a natural source rather than it being processed. So to me, that's not clean eating. I just recently cut out processed sugars and I'm still working towards cutting out dried fruits for that same reason because I don't feel like that is clean eating. It's far better than what I used to do and how I used to eat but as we continue to grow, as we continue to heal ourselves, our body over time is going to demand that you keep it going and continue to do better. You see me, I don't just wanna stay at this level just because I leaped from here. I want to get to here and then I wanna keep going further up. You know, even when you think about how you cook your food, roasting versus steam cooking, there are always better options, more clean options, if you will. For me, roasting my food isn't a clean option, but it may be to somebody who was deep frying their food and loads of oil. Go back to when I did the video that said, why are hybrid foods on Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide? These are hybrid foods, whether we like to admit it or not. No longer are these foods that you can easily find growing in the wild. Maybe you can, depending on where you are located. Clean eating for me is when you know the food that you eat is wild. When you know how it was grown because you grew it, you planted it. I'm not growing as much food as I would like to at this point to where I don't have to visit a grocery store. You see, when you grow your own food, when you forage your own food, it hits different for you when you eat it. 
because it's more so mentally you know rather than just buying it at the grocery store and believing it's organic because the label's there you know these labels are eh, that's a, another topic for another day what i feel is clean versus what someone else may feel is clean different and understand that one's view or vision of what is clean can change over time it will change over time i guarantee that i fast for the health benefits the longevity you get from fasting within your life and how it delays aging fasting improves your overall health it improves your overall fitness you see i have these abs and you know i haven't worked out in a while i haven't done any sit-ups i haven't done any push-ups in a while but it's because of fasting that i'm able to maintain a physique structure of my body it allows the cells to regenerate at a faster rate so when i do start working out it's going to look even more impressive the energy that your body normally would use to digest food then becomes available to other areas especially your brain you know the boost in your brain the clarity that you get from not consuming anything you're able to tap into a whole different thought process when you fast it cannot be done if you're always eating there's higher levels that you can achieve through your brain when you're allowing your digestive system to rest fasting for spirit every time I fast I feel like a brand new me and you know, I just love that feeling. That feeling is addicting. The day-to-day -day routine of eating disrupts the interaction between I and the higher power that's there. Spiritually, I feel it gives you a greater appreciation for your body, despite the fact of how we've been consuming toxic foods for years. Our body has still been able to uphold and function in day-to-day -day living. For that, I give thanks to give thanks i just like to return the favor by allowing it to heal at a faster rate telling my body that it doesn't have to work as hard as it once did i'm giving it the opportunity to relax when i take the worry of food out of my schedule i dedicate that time now to meditation and prayer because when you're not wasting time preparing food you have no excuses. I have to do that now. I have to commit to some type of time, even if it's only 10, 15 minutes of meditation. And when I do so, I feel more spiritually inclined. Let me tell you something. I found that this wasn't the reason of why I fast, but I found that it has been in addition to something that's great, is that you save money while fasting. I save a ton of money while fasting. I'm not buying any groceries. I think at the most you would do is buy you know your spring water maybe your herbs depending on the type of fast you're doing you might be buying fruit for your mono fruit fast the day-to-day -day regimen of you know your breakfast lunch and dinner imagine you cut all of that out how much are you saving per week now and the herbs cost very little and they last very long so i save a lot of money when i fast all i gotta do is focus on my wife and daughter Imagine how much we would save as a family if we fasted as a family. You know, the cost of living is going up every day. While this isn't a main reason on why you should fast, but it should definitely be uh, one of the reasons on why you fast. Fasting grants me the ability to learn and teach. I've learned so much about myself while fasting, then I'm able to teach that to others. While everyone is different, I can share my experience with you. And if it resonates, I always encourage people to try it. And many people have told me, after watching your videos, I feel much better after applying what you have spoken. I feel I'm always learning something new each time I fast. Because, mind you, it's not like you fast so many times that it gets easier. Because once you go back to eating, you begin to reform that addiction of, you know, the love of food that you have. It, it, it's that dopamine effect that imagine, or that feeling of emptiness that you have to satisfy. So I'm always learning 
about ways to combat that and ways to make a, a fast journey far easier to achieve because there's people that have a lot of healing to do, myself included. And on to that point, I'm fasting to further heal myself. I'm not completely healed. I'm still not where I want to be, but I'm getting there. I know I will get there and I will get there far faster if I continue my fasting journey. Each month I'll do one small fast, maybe three to seven days, and then each new season, I try to do a long extended fast, 30 or 40 days, whichever I feel most confident with. I was born with the sickle cell trait. I haven't gotten tested since I've started this journey, but nonetheless, that's something that I want to be prepared for. I still am working on bettering my eyesight, which is getting better by the day, but it's still not 2020. I always ask myself, how can I continue to better myself? Fasting is always going to be a way that I can better myself because it hits all areas of my life. Seriously, this is redemption for all the years that I've ate toxic foods. So if you ask me, I haven't fasted enough. So those are my reasonings on why I do fast as much as I do, despite eating clean. I hope this answers the question. If you have any other questions, please feel free to drop me a comment below. Until next time, 2098, bye die. And I'm constantly finding ways to level up my mind state. Ain't no justice for us, you could peep it in the crime rate. I left behind all those trying to set me up like a blind date. That duo sizzle just like a hot plate.